Well, how's it going? Good day to you. I thought I'd take you on a little quick, just kind of brief, try and keep it to a minimum, uh, tour of uh, one of my more favorite websites. Uh, if you've been following uh, my channel or you follow the national news, you know that the weather is uh, been a little rough lately. And uh, I actually don't watch the local news. They're kind of overexcitable, and I want to make my own, you know, kind of observations or judgments on uh, local weather. So I use, you paid for it, might as well use it, good old NOAA. It's uh, www.noaa.gov. Although I believe if you use .com or .org or some of the other dot whatevers, I believe they're all re redirected to NOAA.gov. Anyway, you paid for it, you might as well use it. Or you're paying for it. Um, NOAA kind of has a lot of the weather. And they're the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. So you can thumb through all this stuff if you want. If, if you really want to know what's going on, you can type the city and state. You just saw that. Or... What they don't tell you is you can type, you can type just your zip code and hit enter, or go, <clears throat> and usually they uh, kind of got a page for your area, uh, your local airport, you know what's going on right now, and there's the forecast for a few days, and there's some written, you know, tonight, you know, a thirty percent chance of impending doom. Okay. I, I just glance over all that stuff. The meat and potatoes, for me anyway, is the radars. Now they're down here in the corner. This is a kind of a satellite image, and this is an actual radar image. And what you've got here is uh, the radar for quite a ways. And up here in the corner, in the left upper corner, you can go to the next NOAA radar site. So this will take you. This is taking me over into you know uh, Iowa here. You can go down, that'll probably be into, what do we got, uh, Kansas. And if we go back, that'll probably be over in uh, Topeka. And if we go back up, we'll be home again. Actually, let's go down here. Topeka looks like you're getting some storms. There's a couple things I really like about this site. One is, um, you really get to a good feeling for what's going on. You don't have to listen to, you know, not that I dislike my local weather team, or teams, or whatever you want to call it. They just, you know... They get so wound up, and they just won't shut up. And um, they've got everything, you know. They've got you know everything turned up as far as it can to make it look dramatic. It's not that big a deal. One of the things I like is if you go over here on the left, here are some basic tools, and you can use the loop feature. And if you hit loop, you can actually see what's going on, and you can see which way the storms are moving, which is what I like. Um, the local weather people don't seem to like to do that. That tells me, you know, kind of the speed. These little boxes that are popping up are storm warning areas. And it also tells you the direction, like here, if you live in, uh, what is that, Topeka or Kansas? I can't, uh, yeah, that's Kansas City. <clears throat> um, here you can see that this storm, you know, this is kind of at the edge of the radar here. If you want to see more, you just go up here and go to the next radar unit over, and it should appear over here. And here you can see the other tail end of it. And you can see that that's a big storm. It's just kind of sliding that way. Um, you can play with these. You know, here's the amount of rainfall in an hour. Here's the amount of rainfall for what they determine a storm is. Um, here's another one I really like. Let's go back up here. We'll get back in. Uh, kind of. No, that we didn't want to do that. Where are we at? Sioux Falls. Here we go. Um, I like looking at the long range ones too. Here you can see it pretty much encompasses the whole state. They, they take a bunch of radar sites and kind of bolt them together. There's some other things you can do too. You can look at whole regions. And if you scan down, here you can see the actual radar unit you know, stepping through the pictures to make the animation. In local time, the, up here is what time it is. Now you have to refresh this. This doesn't keep track all the time. So sometimes you have to refresh that, pick it back up. Here are the regions. You know, here you can look at a glance and kind of see. Well, here's something going on out on the east coast, and it looks like some big storms out there. 
looks like they're kind of impending doom. Maybe not. The the degree of rain is, you know, over here. The the blues and the greens are kind of a little dribble. You start getting into the reds. Uh, get out your kayak. No big deal. And some of these are in UTC times, depending on how they're stitched together. Which, you know, keep just nothing major. Just keep an eye on it. And you can always use the old back button to take you back to where you came from. And there's some other good stuff here. You know, here's information, here's downloading the images. There's a whole ton of stuff just buried away in here. And this is just the radar stuff. Uh, there is also information from satellites. You can, you know, down here on the legend, you can turn off things. You know, like here we can turn off the radar. You can see just the storm warning zones and stuff. Here it kind of shows you this legend, the, the the yellow ones and the green ones are flash, flood, and severe storm, and the red ones are tornadoes. So there you go, there's just a quick, little fast tour of one part of NOAA. Um, actually, uh, what I suggest you do is you go back there and thumb through this. Um, they've got a lot of interesting data. Um, you don't have to be interested in weather to really appreciate this or glean something out of it. You know, you might want to know something about rainfall for the past month, you know, be it a know-it-all at your next card party, you know, when you say, yeah, we've got a lot of rain this month, and some clever smarty pants can say, yeah, we've got 4.3 inches, which is an inch and a half above the national average for our area. And then your fellow um, card mates can look at you and go, nerd. Oh, anyway. <laughs> so have a great day. Take it easy. How do you turn this thing off? Thank you.